this one different from all the other thousands? I don't know, just another pair of shoes. Whoop, that freaking do. channel. Today I am coming at you with another Louboutin unboxing. Unfortunately, I don't have a bag for this because I ordered it online, but nonetheless, I wanted to share this unboxing with you because spring and summer are just around the corner and this came not a second too soon. So as you probably saw in my previous Louboutin unboxing, I had a hard time deciding on what pair I wanted to get. I wanted to mix comfort with a shoe that would work with my lifestyle and with Louboutin, it's not the easiest finding a shoe that is comfortable. Obviously pretty much any of them could work with somebody's lifestyle because they're all absolutely gorgeous, but being able to find one that you are able to wear for an extended period of time can prove somewhat difficult unless you get the really tall ones with the really tall platforms that make it, I think there's like the Biancas and it ends up making it maybe a three inch heel, which aren't necessarily the best to wear to work because they are a little bit on the taller side. I would think that the modern day office is not the best place for those. That would be a heel that would be awesome for going out in, going to the club, going to a bar. They are beautiful. I'm just mentioning those because those are the ones that people say are really comfortable. Another style are the Arizas because it does have that cutout. So when I was looking for this particular pair of shoes, I went and tried on a whole bunch. I looked up the list of all of the pairs that everybody said were the most comfortable and I went and tried them all on just to kind of see what my size would be and which ones I liked, which ones I didn't like. I tried on the jumping ones and those are a little bit, they have, they're kind of asymmetrical around the toe. They would be really comfortable because they were an 85 millimeter heel. So that's about like a three inch heel. And then they also had an additional strap on the top to prevent your foot from coming out. So those would be ideal as far as comfort. I didn't like the asymmetrical portion on the toe though. They just kind of looked a little off to me. So if you like them, rock them. You do you boo. They just were not for me. With Louboutins, it's really the shoe picks the person. The person might fall in love with the shoe, but if it doesn't fit your foot correctly, then it's not made for you. So I was really lucky to find this pair that fit my lifestyle and everything. So let's get into it. If you haven't already watched my other unboxing, definitely do that as well because that gives you a little bit more insight as to how I chose those shoes. But let's get into this one right here. So on the front here, uh, we have the little bag. This one has the little heel taps. Let me, I'll open it up and I will show you. Because you totally clicked on this video for a an unbagging of this tiny little bag just to see what these little heel things look like. But that's what they look like right there. There's two of them in there because, oh, guess what? There's two shoes. Spoiler alert. Uh, there is the dust bag. And for some reason, they only put one in here, it looks like. Um, luckily, I picked up an extra dust bag when I bought my previous pair. So no harm, no foul. But inside, I got the... You're gonna laugh, but these are the Pigalle Plateaus in the nude. So that's why I mentioned if you watch my other video, you'll kind of see the backstory as to why it's really funny that I ended up getting these. But I will, I'll kind of give you a quick run through. So I was in London and I was trying on a couple of pairs of shoes. I was really wanting a pair of the nude shoes and I tried on a couple of different pairs they just were not working for me. I didn't like how they fit. So I ended up going with the black pair and I really love them. I wear them all the time and I found that they are actually really comfortable because it does have that additional platform. So I figured spring is coming up. I have really been loving new shoes and I haven't found any others. I've been looking at all different other brands and I just didn't find any that I fell in love with. And I just kept thinking, you know, Louboutin, they make some new shoes. So that's where I went. I was really hoping the Arezas would work for my lifestyle just because it is a different style of shoe and they look really nice and sleek, but I tried them on and they weren't really all that comfortable. And all of the ones that I could find were only in that four inch heel or the 100 millimeter heel. Now these have the 100 millimeter heel, but with this platform, it brings them down to the equivalent of about an 85, I think, maybe a 90. So that is a bit easier to walk in than the full 100. I am somebody who, I love the look of heels, but 
once I start wearing them for a long period of time, my feet start killing me and if that happens enough, I just don't gravitate towards the shoe anymore. I don't reach for it in my closet. And I didn't want that to happen, especially with the price point that these are at. I wanted to make sure that I was purchasing a shoe that I'm going to want to wear and to wear the heck out of it. I am all about getting a really good cost per wear out of my shoes. So that's why I went with these because they were a bit more comfortable. I did buy a shoe stretcher, so I'm going to try that out and see how that works with stretching these out because the toe box is still a bit tight. It's not as bad as some of the shoes I've tried on, but with the pointier toe here, it can prove to be a little bit tight. So I'm hoping with the shoe stretcher that is going to just kind of speed things up and make them more comfortable quicker. So let me take these out real quick here. All that stuffing just makes them look a little bit ugly. So they're so gorgeous though. I am so excited for the nude pair. I was kind of iffy about the nude uh, because it didn't give as bright of a pop uh, like the black does. The red against the black is absolutely stunning. But like I said, I was looking at all the other nude shoes and I just kept gravitating towards, I still want that pop of color. Even though it's not quite as large of a contrast against the nude, it is still definitely there. So I am gonna wear these, rock these, and love these. I did wanna talk to you about sizing though. So these are a 37 and a half. I am typically a 38 and a half, and the way that it transfers over with Louboutins to European sizes is pretty simple. You just slap a three on the front. So typically I would be a 38 and a half in these, but because they are so steep, I went down in size. Some people go up in size. I think that the reason I go down in size with heels like this is because maybe I have a narrower heel, uh, heel itself where this part grips on. So when I put on the 38 and a half, there was a really good size gap. It was probably at least half an inch, if not three quarters of an inch in the back there. I went down another half size, so I tried on the 38, and again, there was that gap. You don't wanna be walking in these and having your heel slip in and out. What you could always do is put in a little heel grip there, but as this stretches out, your foot is just gonna keep sliding down more and more, so you don't really want to have to worry about changing these around as they stretch out and form to your foot. You're gonna want them to be as close to your current size as possible when you first get them, and then as they stretch out, at that point, you can look into adding stuff in the back or in the bottom here. Maybe you can get some padding in the bottom if you're not a huge heel fan as well, and that would kind of add to the comfort, but that is how the sizing with these worked, at least for me. With Louboutins, you definitely want to go into the store, try on all different styles, whatever catches your fancy, whatever catches your eye when you're in there, because you might even find something that you didn't originally expect or you weren't originally looking for. So that's what's so great about these. There are so many different shapes and sizes as far as how the toe box comes. You can get the completely curved ones, which are like the simple pumps, they're rounded at the toe. So they sometimes I hear that they're a little bit more comfortable, but it just really depends on the foot and the person. So go to the store, try these out. That way you can also narrow down your exact size. I tried on the regular Pegals, or they might have been the Pegal Foley's, um, but I was actually just a 38 in those. So this was even a different size than its counterpart, which is really similar. It just does not have this extra platform. So it really depends on your foot shape and style and the style of the shoe. So go into the store, try them on. I can't stress that enough. That is my number one recommendation. And then maybe you'll also fall in love with a different color. There are so many other color options. They have pink ones. Um, I saw the, there were the Socates, which I probably won't get because I, I don't, They maybe they make them in the 100 millimeter, but I know they make them in the 120 and that is, that's too high. I don't even wanna try to walk in those. I probably could for know, a couple steps, but don't wanna be walking around like a newborn calf. Uh, but the uh, the Socates come in like a light pink, which is absolutely gorgeous with the red on the bottom and then you have the light pink shoe. There are all different colors that you could go for as well. Uh, there's also animal prints, you name it, they probably have whatever you want. So go to the store, try them on, figure out your size, figure out your style, figure out the color and go from there. Oh, I did wanna show you this here. I just got this, isn't this gorgeous? So these look like little Louboutins and then you have little books that say like the Chanel, Hermes, the Fashion Book, Saint Laurent, and Dior. Ah, oh, this is so cute. I picked this up at Nordstrom since some of you might ask about it. Um, this is from, it looks like Stupel Home Decor Collection. And uh, there is a website here, 
Stupel End, probably like Stupel Industry. I will link that down below on how to spell it and everything. And then there is a little signature here. It looks like it says Amanda Brewood. I don't know. Um, Oliver Gal also makes a lot of these if you're looking for decor, like fashion-y decor. He does a lot with Chanel as well as the Louboutins and then the, the red bottom soles and things like that. So definitely check those out if you are a huge fashion lover and you're just looking for some stylized and design and stuff to add to your beauty room. So I absolutely love this and I just wanted to recommend this and let you know just in case you were curious. So I hope you like this video and if you want to see more like them, please give me a thumbs up and if you have these shoes or you're looking for these shoes or considering any other pair of Louboutin, I'd love to hear about it down below and chit chat with you in the comment section and if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I make new videos all the time, two to three times a week, so I want to make sure that you are notified and until next time, thanks for stopping by. It's like boxception. I gotta play with my hair now because I don't like playing with it on camera. Even though technically this is on camera, but I'm not putting it in the video, so that's okay. It annoys me to no end when people play with their hair, mess with their hair while they're filming, while they're talking. It's like, dude, your hair looks okay. Touching it is not going to do anything. Maybe you should go to the salon, have them professionally do it if you are that self-conscious and whatever. Rant over. Here we go. All right, people.